everyone welcome back to the channel i'm thrilled to have you guys here i'm glad you made it i've got four really cool old corbin locks for you three pad locks and one more to cylinder um they're all pin tumblers um these two i've picked before but not on camera and these two i've never picked before at all so uh, we'll see about getting into them um corbin lock company man guys it's it's been around a long time so they've got some really good stuff from you know a pretty good long time ago so let's start out with this one it's got 104 stamped on it i don't know if that's a model number or if that's aftermarket or what it's got the uh, corbin logo right here on the top and it's a pin tumbler so let's go ahead and clamp her up the vice is my vice Or is lock picking my vice? And I just use a vice? Uh, okay, that's enough bad puns for one night. Um, let's go ahead and stick my lock pick in. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. There's a click from three. And a click from four. Click from one. Because I dropped pin four. Okay, this is interesting. Um, my pry bar is getting in my way just a little bit. So I'm going to switch up and I'm going to go with the bottom of the keyway tension. And that one's too big. That one's too small, too big, too small. There we go. So let's try again, shall we? Let's click for one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. We'll click for four. A little stiff. I'm going to move away from this 20 thousandths pick and I'm going to go with one of my uh, home brews, which are considerably stronger. Let's go with this guy here. There we go. Pretty stiff in there. But uh, there's that one, the 104, non-removable core. Pretty cool little lock. Uh, let's go ahead and go with uh, this cute little guy. I like this lock. Um, he's a really good candidate for the buffing wheel. Not a lot of cleanup needed to be done to this guy. But a quick run on the buffing wheel. Yeah, it'll take a lot of that patina off, but um, if I go real light, it won't be long before some of that patina starts to come back. So let's go ahead and start with one. There's two. Four. Okay, I must have overset a pin. I want to go with heavier tension. We'll click from one. We'll click from two. We'll click from three. Now let's click from four. Everything seems jammed up again. All right. 
This one probably could have used a little bit of Houdini inside of it. Because I remember the first time I picked this one, it was fairly stiff. And it's me over setting pin one. Yeah, that pin doesn't, neither one of these pins want to move. Pin one doesn't want to go up. And pin four is fairly stuck. It just finally went. Alright, let me go with a uh, top of the keyway pry bar on this guy. It could just be just a little bit too jammy inside. And that's not going to work for me. Let's go back to my bottom of the keyway. See, I get that slight turn on the core. Then this thing just locks up solid. Okay. Pin two is talking to me now. Counter rotation. Yeah, definitely not pin one. That's pin two. There we go, I'd had something.